So the April Files event has returned in 2024. There's a whole bunch of different things you can do and some new rewards to obtain, including a new mount and a new companion. They've also come out with an event to align with this, where you can claim some free items if you do the minimum participation every day of doing either the PvP or the Sewers Most Foul. You can get that new companion right there, the basic bot companion, after getting seven days completion. Now that new companion, the basic block, will be right here. Gives you a utility power, which can give you 30% movement speed for three seconds, and then just has some stats and ability scores. The interesting thing is the squabble, reducing the damage the target deals by 5% for four seconds. Again, I'll have to test out this companion when we can obtain him, which will be on day seven with that claims free items so in order to partake in this event you will have to go to earl the chicken master right here and you can pick up the quests from him so one is to tell you to go into the sewer most foul and do that another is to interact with the different types of chickens throughout protectors enclave and there are five different types of those chickens they each have different abilities and so you can just do all those for some extra currencies you can see what rewards they're giving you bird feed and bird feathers. That currency you will need to spend in the store right here. So you can go to this big fluffy chicken and she will show you what you can obtain with that currency. So the first tab here is the bird feathers. You can get the artifact, the ring of foul weather. I believe you can get it from other players on the auction house as well. It drops unbound in the dungeon and I believe you can use unbind tokens on it too. It's all right, particularly for multi-target content, grouping up enemies, much like the legendary flying carpet. But then there's an artifact set, decent amount of item level. I mean, if you have nothing better, you could go with it, but it doesn't really do much. And then you can get the visage, just turn yourself into a chicken, like with the Halloween event visages as well. And then you can get the new mounts. So the new one this year is the golden goose, never been seen before, and it's got some actual decent slots there for your stable particularly for a damage dealer these are the bonuses we're looking at and in particular warlord's motivation with the preferred slot the only other mount is the demon wings which you want to generally use for tactician's precision instead now the new golden goose looks like this you mount up and there you go you can flap your wings and it's very similar to the previous year's mount just a bit of a reskin. There's the Gilded Goose returning from last year. You can still buy that, that's neat. It's got those powers there, but it's also a four slot mount. It does have Enchanter's Hex. Not on preferred, but yeah, it has that if you need it. Just be aware, you probably want to upgrade these if you want to be using collars next to them. So if you're using epic collars, then you'll need to upgrade the mount to epic using those tokens. Otherwise, you can get just the fashion mount here, the zombie chicken. It's three slots. So yeah, nothing special there. And then you can get a bunch of vanity pets. So the new gnomish golden goose, the giddy gosling, the zombie chick, the chicken follower, and also the baby chick. All just vanity pets you can add to your collection. Going to the bird feed, you can get this crown of the concussed. Just gonna be some chickens floating around you. And then these boots. You can see me wearing both of them right here. The boots, you'll occasionally you'll see a little chick run away from your feet and that's it. And then you can buy some consumables. So seed bread, you can get that for maybe a healer, but it's bound to character on pickup and hot wings for say a damage dealer, but also bound to character on pickup and they cost quite a lot. And uh, again, cryptic, can you seriously make these unbound, allow people to sell them so they can actually farm this event and make some Astro Diamonds or at least give the food to their alternate characters. Other than that, you can buy these seeds which just turn you into the different type of chickens. So let's cover how to get all the currency you need for these stores to be able to buy these rewards. Well, we did just pick up a bunch of quests from Earl the Chicken Mancer and we have the option to do these and you can see you're getting seven bird feeds and a bird feather. So you could do those. What they require you to do is go to your inventory. You should have received these bird seeds. If you miss a bird seed for the right quest, you can always go back here to Earl and say, I'm out of seeds and 
he'll give you the seeds that you miss for the quests that you have. So for example, here we can use the yellow seed, we turn into this chicken, and now we need to go use our power at these white chickens, just pressing Q next to them. So we have to do that five times. To run around a bit quicker, you can just press right click and you get a speed boost. Turn into those chickens, do those quests, you can read what they tell you, but there's one for each type of the different chickens. Quest complete. You can hold tab to change out of your chicken form, speak back to Earl, complete your quest. That is one way to farm the currency. And you can do those quests once per day per character. The alternative is to go to your queue and to go to the event. You can queue up to either PvP or the sewer most foul. I do recommend the dungeon because if you go do PvP, I believe you don't receive any rewards. I'll sit in queue here for a little bit, see if we can get that to pop. And it should also give us progress with regards to the claim free items as it says here. You can win or lose and you should be able to get that progress. So you can get through PvP within less than 10 minutes versus the dungeon might take you 15 minutes. Again, I'll showcase both of them. Now we got PvP to activate for us, except so you end up in PvP domination map. And what you can do is change into the different class of chickens. So I'm going to turn into the red one, probably the easiest in my opinion. So here we have domination PvP. So the objective is to cap these points. Once you have them capped, you will receive points over time. And that's just here. Whoever gets all the points needed to fill the bar then it's game over and they win. So we're gonna to go to the middle here and try to stop these guys from capping. I'll put some fire on the ground. Green fire is mine. And then red fire is the enemy, so don't stand in that. Again, you can paralyze dudes. You can shoot them from a distance, get a speed boost, and let's not die here either. If you are low HP, like we kind of are right now, you might wanna get a health potion. So there are particular spawn points for them. There's one usually up here. Same on the other side, and there should be one below this cap and one below the other one as well. Except we are just healing over time as we're not in combat, but let's let's shoot the fire seed at that guy, chase him down, try peck him. Maybe we can paralyze him, shoot him again. Peck, 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 peck. If we do get the paralyzer off, it can come in clutch. You don't want to bite off more than you can chew and just, yeah. Make sure you're dominating. Have two of the bases, so this one and the middle one, and we're good. We don't have to like go all aggressive and get the other base. We could if we're really destroying them. Let's not let our teammate die, and he did. Let's go and use our daily power. Be where it does damage us, and uh, let's try run away. Okay, we died. You can press your scoreboard and you can see uh, how well you're performing versus other players in terms of getting score points, kills, deaths, etc. The good thing with it is you're balanced. Everybody has same stats and everything. So there's complete fairness and equality there. It's all just about your positioning, how well you play. And so everybody's put on a nice level playing field. So these are the healing potions. You have them spawn right there. You go pick them up and you'll heal over time nice and quickly. And there we go. We finish it and you can see, yeah, we don't get any extra reward for completing that in terms of currency for the event, which is, in my opinion, a missed opportunity. It's disappointing and uh, we're pretty much done there. We did get the April Fowl's participation, so we should be able to see that tracker right there. One out of 10 days. But now let's go queue up to the dungeon. This is something you can farm over and over again to get rewards. We get an instant queue pop, and here you turn into a chicken. You initially start out as just a basic chicken. One of the chickens used their ultimate power, and we can turn, turn into a different chicken when you stand on top of those seeds. And this scratchy chicken, I think with the area damage, the smoke bomb or whatever that is, the bombshells, probably the best for multi-target. Once you get to this section, you can switch up to whatever you want. And I think I'm gonna stay on this chicken as it can do a lot of single target damage, which is what we need here. We just have a boss of like illusions and uh, you just peck the boss to death. Oh my God, there are so many chickens. This is a bit insane. Somebody must have grouped them up. I'm finally catching up in damage from the beginning. The guy ran ahead and just died. 
And he lured a ton of them. Oh dear. Well, we caught up in damage. And we get our second boss. But you just peck the dragon to death. Play a few mechanics. Might want to switch up rolls if you're struggling. And spinning axes. Just jump through them. And we get to the final boss. Again, you can change your roll on all of those little things. And here you go. Your boss. Skip that cutscene and uh, begin attacking, I think. And yeah, you just peck him to death. Try not to sit in red zones. And we'll depend on what rolls you have, how easy I guess it is for you. Maybe you do want to have a tank chicken. Maybe you do want to have a healer chicken. But you should be able to do this with just all damaged chickens. And that's it. Done. We have completed the dungeon. I did do okay. And uh, yeah, 12 minutes run. Not so bad. And you get your rewards. And you can see we get five feathers and seven bird feet. Now, if we do re-roll, that doesn't seem to change, but we can potentially get, okay, it does change. The amount of bird feed changes. We can re-roll this four times, interesting. Anyway, just seven bird feathers and some bird feed. Except that you can get the ring there. I would just recommend not bothering to really roll and just get what you're given and that's it. You're out. And that's the entirety of this event. So you can farm that dungeon over and over for that currency. Probably the easiest way to do it day one. You do have some quests you can complete here as well. But they are stuck on just daily. And uh, yeah, you can keep getting the quests from this guy. I'll just give you silver pieces and that's it. So, yeah, the event just farms who are most foul over and over. Have fun in PvP, but unfortunately it doesn't give you anything other than, say, the progress for this tracker. So with that said, thank you for watching. Hopefully this helps. A massive thank you to all of these channel members for your added support. And we'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.